Hello everyone. This short recording is to revise the thing, one of the things you have already done in orientation. That is how to reference. If I simply say, if you use anything written, anything drawn by someone else from the web, from books, magazines. If you borrow someone else's material in your assignment writing, it is a must you reference. In other words, it is a must you give credits and acknowledge the author. That knowledge doesn't belong to us. It belongs to the author. If you use that knowledge without mentioning the author, then we call it plagiarism. So whenever you use others writing or any creation from others you must give credits to author let's see in short how to do this when you write assignment topics so for that I'm going to use an example. Going to share the screen. This is about referencing. Say, for example, you are writing about the importance of data in an organization. Now, this is your topic. If you write things originally on your own, that means if it is your original genuine ideas, no need to give credit to everyone, anyone. But if you borrow someone else's writing, so images, maybe from books, websites, or magazine articles, etc., then you must give credits to the author. How are you going to do this? There is a standard. The standard we are going to use is Harvard Referencing System, introduced by Harvard Business School and adapted by Swinburne University of Technology. So we call it Harvard Referencing System for Swinburne University of Technology. So there are many referencing standards. We use this. Now let's do an example and learn how to do this in Microsoft Word. I have written the topic of interest. Now, I want to write why data is very important to an organization. I can write one of my thoughts as the opening line. Data refers to any piece of thing of a thing related to the business. Now, this is my thought. I wrote it without referring to anything. So I don't have to give credit to myself. Then I want to read a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I will do some searching and find 
some interesting articles. Now, this is a website by the Council on Quality and Leadership. Looks like a good website. It's important to pick a good website, valid good website, without going for blogs, Wikipedia, wikis, social media posts. Rather going for those, go for valid recent articles. Now this article, let me first check. Mm. Now when it is a website, when was this published? What you can do is you can find out the last update year. So it is updated in 2021. So very recently updated website. So I think I don't have anything to be worried. It's important what you reference is correct and valid. So reading this article, I can find the 12 reasons why data is important. Improve people's lives, make informed decisions, stop more haze from turning into mountains, small problems becoming big, get the results you want, find solutions to problems. So there are many points here. I don't have to include all. Now it's important how to get this to Microsoft Word. There are two methods to borrow someone else's knowledge. Two methods to borrow ideas. First method, use the idea as it is. We call it a quotation. You know what a quotation or a quote is. Yeah, you use double quotes and you mention the idea so that in that way we highlight it is copied, it is taken as it is without changing words. So it's a quote. Or else you can read the idea and write it in your own words. But remember without changing the meaning. So this one we call it quote and the other one we call it paraphrasing. I hope this is clear. Now let's take an example. Let's see I really like the I really like the first point. Data will help you to improve quality of life for people you support. Improving quality is first and foremost among the reasons why organizations should be using data. So I am directly taking the whole thing as it is. Let me take that. Control C. And uh, here. Let me say, I'm going to use this as it is. Now you can see, I just used it for most among the reasons should be using data. If you use the words as it is, you must Call it a quotation and the quote should have double quotes 
around that. There's another method, isn't it? Now this is method one. Quote. Now method two. Method two, what is it? Paraphrase. Now let's see how to write this statement, quote, copied in our own words without changing the meaning. Data will help you to improve quality of life for people you support how do I write it in a different term data has a great impact on people as it can enhance, I use some similar words, as it can enhance the way of living of those who support, of those you support, sorry. Now see, the same piece of data, I wrote it in a different way. Improving quality is first and foremost among the reasons why organizations should be using data. Let me say companies involved in improving the life standards of people. So for that, they use, they highly depend on data they gather or collect. Now children, you can see I have written the same idea in a different way. Now this is using a quote and this is by paraphrasing. Now comes the problem. I told you if you borrow someone else's writings or images then you must give credit to the author. Now how to give credits? That's our question now. How to give credits to author? That is why we have to learn the Harvard referencing system. Now, for the same example, let me demonstrate how to give credits. Okay. <laughs> let me start off with the method two, paraphrasing. What you should do is, you should first move the cursor to the end of the paraphrase. Can take a space. After that, go to references. Go to references. Here you can find a section called citations and bibliography. In simple terms, citation is giving credits to the author in short form. Inside the piece of text you have written. And bibliography is give the full details of the author in the end of the document. <coughs> Sorry. 
So, first of all, go to references, citations, and bibliography. Double check or select Harvard referencing system here. Now, in this one, in my version of Word, I don't have Harvard Swinburne style, but I'll be demonstrating with Harvard Anglia University style. But uh, more or less, these formats will look extremely similar. So I'm going to choose Harvard Anglia, but you can choose Harvard Swinburne University style. Then, first thing, go to insert citations add new source now you have a dialog where you can easily do the selection so you can easily do the referencing first of all select the source now you can see in this example the source is a website handled by an organization called the Council on Quality and Leadership. So let me choose from this list website and who is the author. If the author is a person and the name of the author is given then you can directly mention the author but unfortunately you can see here the author's name is not there this article is published on behalf of the CQL organization so we call we don't have a human person name here but we have an organization, a corporate. So we call it the corporate author. And we have to select the name of the author. Look at the name of the organization here. The Council on Quality and Leadership. Children, be very careful. When it comes to a website, the name of the entire website, not the web page. So here, the Council on Quality and Leadership. And name of the web page. Now website and web page. The entire website and this web page inside this entire website is 12 reasons why data is important that's the title of this page and article title so i'm going to easily copy the title of the web page here year of publication Publication here, it's not visible when this article was written at the top. In that case, if you get helpless finding the year, you can go down to the bottom of the website page and it, it shows the last updated date or year. You can take 2021 as the year of publication here. And the year accessed, of course, today, 2021, month accessed, March, day accessed, today is 7. The URL, now here the example is given. The URL is the uniform resource locator on the web. So what is the URL of this website? This is the URL. Make a thumb my URL. Right? Copy. That is the web address. Sometimes we call it the web link address. So this is the URL. Say OK. 
you can see the name of the corporate author and year of publication is given in short form this is how you paraphrase and give credits to the author same thing should happen when uh, quote, quote, the quotation is given or extracted some words as it is end of the statement go to references in citation and add the source but children now we already added the council on quality and leadership organization to our database so if you go to insert citation you can already see the citation you can already see the reference so you don't have to enter it again simply click it it comes to the end of this end of where your cursor is so this is how you give short reference or we call it citations within the text so when you do your assignments if you take someone else's information on a website a book a magazine if you download an image diagram then you have to definitely give citations like this now let's say this is the end of your assignment now you move to another section now when you have finished using or when you have finished an assignment it's very important that you add let me add another page okay end of the document end of your assignment last page should be the full references the full references of the references you have used throughout your body of the assignment so let me go to a new page now for you to easily understand assume this is your final page so what are you going to do now you need the long detail of this short reference now throughout this assignment now i have only piece of the assignment i have used only one reference now here you go to the last page of your assignment go to references now it's time to add the bibliography in the harvard referencing system just click bibliography you can see the full details of the reference given here the council on quality and leadership accessed in 2021 12 reasons why data is important that is the title of the web page online this is an online resource available at after that the url and accessed on 7th of march 2021 just in case if you have used more references now let me help you add a book now i'm going to simply have a sample piece of text okay uh, hello world 2021 corona free now let's see let's assume this piece of work i have taken from a book so in that case i have to move the cursor go to insert citations now in order to add the citation i add this new reference to my database 
let's say this is a book written by two authors let's say john smith and henry steel don't try to add the names here go to edit the last name john smith so the last name is smith first name is john let's say he has a middle initial b john b smith then henry sorry henry is the first name and steel is the first second name and henry k steel if you already made a mistake you can make it uh, deleted sorry if you want you can move them up or down henry steel if you want you can delete uh, for your understanding let me add another author hammy is the last name and is the first name and mary hammy once you are done say okay it shows all the authors in their own syntax let's say the title of the book is corona life in on earth just some examples okay year of publication so let's say this is published a book written last year city of publication let's say this is written by a few authors from uk so london let me say and the publisher let's say macmillan publishers and edition say it is the first edition of the book if it is the first edition there is no particular need to say it's the first edition it's an edition after the first edition you can mention the edition because when you edit a book and publish a new edition usually it is different from the previous one so let me say second edition now say okay now you can see something called smith the first author's surname and et al et al is a latin latin term to say and others smith and others since you have three authors and two lengthy to show inside the citation they have shortened it smith et al but the sad thing is uh, henry steel and annie mary gets uh, does not appear at the citation this is why we have a bibliography at the end some people bibliography they call it references or some people call it list of references all these terms are okay now if you go to insert citation you can see the smith john smith henry steel and annie mary uh, references given <coughs> so i need that reference here now for the time being what i am going to do is i am going to delete this delete this reference list
I'm going to add the bibliography list once again. Go to bibliography and click on this. Now you can see Smith and the Council of Quality and Leadership, both <coughs> preferences I have used within my assignment is given on full reference. You can see Henry Steele, all the um, author's details are given here with the publisher, publication edition, everything is given. So everyone, this is how you do referencing if you borrow someone else's knowledge. Let me quickly tell you, if you borrow a picture, let's say you borrow this picture. I'm going to copy the image and I'm going to just use it here for you to have a better understanding. So you are borrowing this image here. So this image doesn't belong to you, but as a student, you are permitted to use others' images given that you have acknowledged the author. So I'm going to use this image, but once again, you must use caption, insert a caption below to mention the, the author. You can give a figure number 1.1 if it is the first image of the first chapter. Then importance of data. And say OK. Oh, sorry. You'll see the number is a small mistake because you don't have a chapter number, right? If you want, you can add the figure details. Let me, for your understanding on referencing, let me add the figure caption manually. Figure 1.1, importance of data. And now you need the author, citation. Go to references, insert citation. This is taken from the Council on Quality and Leadership. You can see the other's image also have to be cited. If you want to double check whether all the image citations are also added to your final reference list, here you don't have to delete this again and again. You can simply say, update citations and bibliography. So whatever the citations available in the database will simply get updated when you click on this. This is how you do referencing. This is referencing is a lengthy discussion, but I wanted you all to have a have a basic understanding, but I'm sure in your academic session or your orientation session already uh, this is being covered in a broad uh, part of knowledge as a broad part of knowledge this is already being covered if you have any questions please reach me and uh, you can ask any question from the usual communication mediums we have this particular word document I will make it available through email to all of you uh, who already have access to Canvas, check your emails. I will uh, provide this document to you so you can have a look at it once again. Okay, everyone, thank you very much. I hope you liked the lesson and I hope you understood the importance of giving credits to other people because knowledge is a valuable asset. When we use it, we have to use it in a very responsible manner.
Thank you very much and have a nice day.